Mira. Hey, kitty. Hey. Hello, Callie and Adria. My room is still not ready. Pretty close, very close. Uh, but we're just going to ignore this background area today. These are some fairy wings that I didn't know I owned. So I own a third pair of fairy wings and I didn't even know it. That's wonderful. So I'll do a video for my room and stuff and the new house and everything next time. And I thought today I would do the festive tag. I was not tagged in the festive tag because I don't know anybody on this website. So I'm stealing the festive tag from uh, Carrie Fletcher's video and I will put a link in the description to her original video. So let's begin. Question one, favorite festive food? Pie. I'm not really like any specific kind of pie. I'm pretty good with like all kinds of pie, like pumpkin pie and apple pie and cherry pie. I think I had plum pie recently. Just pie. Pie is good. Question two, favorite reindeer? Are we supposed to have a favorite reindeer? My favorite reindeer is from the stop motion Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and there was a girl reindeer. I don't know what her name was. I haven't seen that movie in years. But let's go with the girl reindeer from that stop motion movie. Favorite day from the 12 days of Christmas? Yeah, this is a really weird question, but I think I'm gonna go with Six Geese a Lang, mostly because there is a Taking Back Sunday song where um, they are trying to do the 12 days of Christmas and they're like talking during it and they're questioning and they're like, Six Geese laying, are they laying like, ooh, laying? And that's just wonderful. So yeah, six keys of laying. Question number four, favorite Christmas song? My favorite Christmas song is actually Baby It's Cold Outside, which was really weird because back in June for my birthday, Callie wrote a fan fiction about me and John Keats, which was really funny and really emotional. Like I still read it and I worry for John Keats's life. But in this fiction, she wrote me singing Baby It's Cold Outside and then having to sing both parts of Baby It's Cold Outside because John Keats, of course, you know, early 19th century, did not know the song. It was really weird because I was like, how did she know that I really love that song? Question number five, favorite Christmas present. I don't think I have a favorite Christmas present. I don't mean to be like one of those people, but I tend to really just like the fact that people are giving me presents and they like think enough about me to give me presents that I'm pretty much just on board with what anyone gives me usually don't question it at all. So I don't think I have a favorite. Question number six, favorite Christmas film? My favorite Christmas film is A Princess for Christmas. And you've probably never seen it, but it's a really cheesy movie that stars Katie McGrath. And I mostly watch it for Katie McGrath doing an American accent, which is funny, but also because it's just a fun movie. I mean, you know, it's Christmas, movies are allowed to be cheesy, but this one's kind of like over the top cheesy, but. I don't know. It's enjoyable. I like it. I actually just watched it again yesterday. Question seven and eight are actually really difficult. So question seven is favorite cracker toy and question eight is favorite cracker joke. I only ever got to use Christmas crackers for the first time last Christmas and I don't remember what the joke was and there weren't any toys. So if you're not British, it's a hard question to answer. But if you guys have ever done crackers, go for it. Question number nine, favorite Christmas decoration. Some of these are some bizarre questions. I don't know. I mean, I'm a fan of lights, but I kind of like fairy lights that I hang up all year round. I guess um, I haven't seen it in years, but growing up we had this Santa who would sit in a chair and he had like three books. So you could plug one of the little books in, kind of like a clip it, if you remember clip it. You could plug a book in and he would like read you the story. And I think that's probably my favorite Christmas decoration. It was super fun. Question number 10, favorite candle scent. I'm actually allergic to fragrances in most things, including candles. So like when I would work at Rite Aid, I couldn't smell the candles because they would all give me horrible headaches. Some candles don't bother me though. I have a candle that's like a sort of, I don't know if it's just like a blackberry smell or something, but I'm pretty on board with that one. It never bothered me. Mine is like by default, which smell didn't bother me. Question 11, favorite Christmas TV advert? My favorite Christmas TV advert is by far the Incest Vulgars commercial. I don't know if you've seen this commercial, you probably have, everyone's seen this commercial, but it's a 
Folger's ad where this guy comes home from the military and is greeted at the door by his sister and they're like drinking coffee and they're talking and he gives her a present. She takes the bow off the present, she puts it on his head and it's like, my present this year is you. And it's just like really weirdly incestual kind of like chemistry and apparently it has like actual fanfics online, which is hilarious. So definitely that one. Question number 12, favorite Christmas tradition? We don't really have any traditions. I mean, we have gift giving, advent calendars. Advent calendars are fun. I like advent calendars. We already bought ours. So yeah, I guess getting a piece of chocolate every day in December. That's a pretty good one. I'll go with that. Question number 13. Favorite place to spend Christmas? This is also kind of hard to answer. I guess at home. Like I, I spent Christmas in a lot of different places. I've spent Christmas at home. I've spent Christmas in a hotel because we didn't have a home at the time. I've spent Christmas in a hotel at Lake Tahoe, which was nice. I spent Christmas at my apartment in Seattle once. So I guess I don't have like a favorite place, you know, I guess just home wherever I'm at. Question number 14, favorite Christmas fact. This one I feel like I'm gonna get a little bit cynical on, so I probably shouldn't answer it. Yeah, I'm not gonna answer it. Question number 15, favorite snowman accessory. Mine isn't actually an accessory, but like the body of the snowman itself. Because when I was six, my mom and I took a train to Denver, Colorado, where my grandparents lived. And I want, and there was snow and I wanted to build a snowman, but there wasn't like that much snow. So my grandfather took a bucket and walked around the neighborhood collecting snow so I could make a snowman. And so that kind of means a lot. So, you know, the snow that makes up the body of the snowman. And that's it on the festive tag. I, of course, tag you two because, well, one, who else would I tag? And two, because I also want to know your answers, of course. You can do this video as well as other things or not or whatever you choose to do. I don't know. Bye!